All right, y'all, welcome back. We are here again, man. Look, I got a little show for you on spawning stuff, you know. And again, this is my opinion. I'm no pro, but it's just with the stuff I look for. You'll see this gravel bank, and under, behind the gravel bank is kind of a sandy bottom, too. I think the fish like that to spawn on uh, in this first little episode here. And then I go off next, and you'll see me around some tires and stuff, and, and, and they'll kind of sit on top of that stuff and spawn, too. Um, but anyway, just check it out. Just check it out. Oh, I was headed to the lake. <laughs> this great big old turkey walked dead out in front of me, right in the middle of the road. <laughs> it's just crazy. Check it out. That's, that's, that was pretty wild. Um, what else? There at the end, you know, you'll see me. I, I can't stand it. I pick up the spinnerbait and catch a couple. I catch a couple, but got one on camera. That was pretty cool. Um, and then I had one about break my wrist, and I'll show that because he knocked just knocked it so hard. And if you look, watch the rod, it slid up my arm. And when it slid up my arm, all that force was at my wrist. <laughs> it about broke my wrist. That's what I'm talking about, bud. Them, them juggers will knock the fire out of that spinnerbait. So thank y'all, man. Thank y'all. Pictures real quick. Stan Weatherman, thanks for sending yours in. Mr. Robbie Hanke, uh, Hamke, uh, your, do your daughter sent this in. I hope you're surprised, brother. Robbie, congrats on that fish, too, uh, from Alabama. Thank y'all. Butch Foster. Butch, can't thank you. Uh, Miss Foster, uh, uh, beautiful young lady here, holding some fish up, too, and just got some just nice slabs. Just just some good eaters, right? Um, see Mr. Butch, his fish, and then lastly, Mr. Wally. Mr. Wally, Rhea, thank you for sending yours in. Big old bass. Guy, he caught a big old bass, too, so several of them here. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Let me comment. All right, so I told you we was gonna try to find some shot. I think I found some. I've caught one and just and had another hit. So let's crawl back up here. Let's see what happened. I've kind of changed up. I got my old crap pole bag. It's five six. A little Abu Garcia set up with a little pinnacle reel. Still sixteenth ounce and some stained water. So I got Smith Rose little chartreuse jig. Sunline, pull apart. Oh, you can see it's got some gravel. Can you Keeper in a box, but there's a baby. And again, I'm just throwing up the shoreline, finding some good stuff, or just just gravel stuff like spawn on. 
Okay, so I moved on to another spot, a little rip wrap. This got some tires in it, so let's check this out and see what we can do here. I caught, just caught one, so let's see if we can do another. chartreuse, swift rose, fat full of eggs, look at that. Can't help. Yeah. Gotta pick up the spinnerbait.
good fish. Mm. Kiss the old bass. Well, that's what we did today. Got some pretty fish in there. We're gonna let them go right here. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the catfish too. You catch the I'm catching the catfish too on a little the little crab setup again. It's a little uh, Abu Garcia, a little cardinal rod. Five six five pound test sunline full carbon um, and a little pinnacle reel. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me comment. I got I'm gonna do another bass show. I can't stand it because I love catching the bass. They just it's just a blast. And the cousin in the boat with me. Hey, hope y'all enjoy it. Subscribe. Crash.